Hey, what's going on, everybody? Matthew here from the rightfitter.com. Breaking news we have a massive collapse in Bitcoin and crypto. We can see here in just a matter of minutes, guys, we have dropped uh, over uh, 10%, and uh, it looks like we're going to drop more. We have found some support here around 42K, uh, but in my opinion, this is not going to hold, and I will explain why in just a second. Now, what has caused this major drop? Okay, if we go over here to the coin market caps, we can see last 24 hours, Bitcoin down uh, over 6%, ETH down almost 7%, uh, Solana down over 10%, now below $100. I think Solana is absolutely going to crumble from here. We also have AVAX, which was one of the best performers, also uh, crumbling uh, Dogecoin disastrous drop and uh, what has caused this news this is probably what a lot of you are wondering and it wasn't instantly clear so let me uh, show you what caused this news okay matrix port which is a large company that has been in the space for a long time has released a report saying that all SEC uh, all the spot Bitcoin F uh, ETFs for Bitcoin will be rejected by the SEC okay and uh, here is the actual uh, research post that they made uh, I will cover this exactly on their website here, which you can see. So uh, what they're saying is uh, why the SEC will reject Bitcoin spot ETFs again. Now, many people are extremely upset about this. Uh, you know, there is a huge question of potential manipulation with something like this. And uh, ultimately, right, uh, we have not gotten confirmation or denial uh, or of a Bitcoin ETF. OK, however, what's really weird here is the same company Matrix Port. Uh, just a few days ago, said that Bitcoin spot ETF approval imminent, Bitcoin could jump to 50k by this weekend, okay? And now they came out with their uh, most recent post, which is saying that uh, based on their insights, uh, all the SEC, uh, all the ETFs for Bitcoin will be rejected by the SEC. Uh, so you can see here that uh, they correctly called that Bitcoin would hit $45,000 by Christmas. Also, one of the reasons why people are taking this so seriously is because Matrix Port has been uh, completely 100% accurate with all their predictions. So they correctly called the uh, you know run up to 45k by Christmas, and uh, they, however, said that uh, you know they actually even here said we even expected that if all the SEC requirements for spot Bitcoin ETFs were fulfilled, Bitcoin could rally towards 50k by the end of January. Uh, so then here uh, they said that. Uh, they have seen frequent meetings between the ETF applicants and staff of the SEC, uh, which resulted in the applicants refiling their applications. We believe all applications will fall short of a critical requirement that must be met before the SEC approves. So now they're saying that approval is going to be more towards Q2 of 2024 and that they expect that in January, all ETF applications will be rejected. Uh, so there's some extra information about, uh, you know, all this drama. Uh, but ultimately, here we can see their prediction. If there is any denial by the SEC, we could see cascading liquidations, ex as we expect most of the 5.1 billion additional perpetual long Bitcoin futures to be unwound. As such, uh, they're saying that Bitcoin prices would be declining by 20% very quickly, uh, causing mass liquidations and falling back to the range of thirty-six to $38,000. Okay. Uh, now, this is, of course, extremely... Um, important you know this is a uh, breaking news event in the crypto space and as we're saying guys the crypto market is collapsing as a result of this okay in fact i want to show you a video i found this is six years ago when there was talk about a bitcoin uh etf approval or rejection and six years ago we got a clear rejection of a bitcoin spot etf look at what happened to the price guys i'm going to play the video check this out this is when the price of bitcoin was only at one thousand two hundred dollars you can see it unfold as soon as the news hit of the ETF rejection, uh, it was quite drastic, guys. Look at that. Uh, absolute monster collapse, uh, dropping well over 30% in a matter of minutes, guys. Now, keep in mind, this time around, guys, we have not gotten news from the SEC directly. This is Matrix Ports research that is saying that the ETFs will be denied in January, uh, and it has already caused a massive crash of over 6%. And probably more to come, especially if we do get the denial. Uh, if we get approved, I think we're going to fly right back up, break above 46K and start moving onwards towards higher targets. Uh, like we talked about a while ago, more towards 50 to 65K. OK, but now with this new Matrix port piece, which was, uh, you know, a bit of a hit piece, in my opinion, on crypto, because this absolutely tanked the market. OK, uh, this was a research piece based on whatever information they have. Uh, this is not official news. 
of uh, uh, ETF uh, denial. Okay, so um, this has really stunted the the bull run right now temporarily, and uh, you know probably more liquidations to come, guys. When we see this type of move uh, that is that this drastic, okay, we get an initial liquidation spike, and then uh, usually one or two more drops uh, lower. So I'm really expecting us to be uh, between 38 to 40k here in the next 24 hours. I'm expecting this drop to continue. And yes, guys, I am happy to announce that we have a massive Solana short open in huge profits. This is a benefit of being in the Right Trader Telegram Elite VIP group. Uh, we caught this move and I'm holding this. Uh, so even when the market is down, we are making winning trades, guys. And uh, uh, you can find uh, the link to uh, subscribe to the Right Trader Elite Telegram VIP group in the description down below. Also, guys, make sure to check out the best exchange out there. Uh, Fairdesk, it's been 100% smooth even throughout all the volatility. I've been trading through it and you can see me here making great profits on their exchange as well. So go check them out. Link in the description down below. Also, we need to cover some additional news pieces here. We can see that, uh, of course, Bitcoin has uh, slumped uh, as $400 million got liquidated in two hours. Those were longs getting liquidated. Uh, and we can see that Coinbase stock has also uh, completely cratered as a result of this news. Okay, uh, they are... Uh, said to be some of the custodians for some of these Bitcoin ETFs. So, of course, if there's denials, this is heavily going to affect Coinbase and Coinbase stock. Uh, moreover, uh, kind of for some comedic relief in this whole fiasco, Jim Cramer literally a day ago said that Bitcoin was a technological te technological marvel and it's here to stay. I think he said something like, uh, yeah, you can't kill it. Basically, it's here to stay. And uh, yeah, you, you know what happens with uh, Jim Cramer, right? Everything he says uh, the exact opposite ends up happening, and this couldn't have been more true for what happened with Bitcoin, unfortunately, guys. Um, now, keep in mind, these type of big liquidations event and big scares and panic, especially when it's just rumors like this with Matrix Port, are great opportunities to buy in at some lower prices for long-term spot purchases, okay? Especially for bigger coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, so we'll see how the market will react to that, right? Maybe the market will want to take advantage and buy this up. Uh, especially, you know, if we get news of approval, that's going to just send these things flying. But we still have a lot of concern now with the technical damage that this has caused and, uh, you know, how this might um, continue now, right? We had a lot of support at 41,000. We're going to see, though, are we going to come back and test that? And are we going to maybe re-enter this range now between 38.7 and 41? Uh, very, very likely that we will, though, uh, based on what I've experienced in the past with crypto, uh, how these liquidation waterfalls tend to, you know, pan out. Um, so, of course, guys, we see here that uh, this flash crash, um, you know, happened as this bull run is kind of seemingly coming to an end right now. Uh, we talked about the fact that we could revisit 30K before we see, you know, kind of uh, pushing highs. Uh, so we are not in a uh, bull market. OK, I, I said this in my last video. We are not in a bull market. We're simply in a mid cycle bull run in the crypto winter. OK, that's exactly what happened here. So don't be surprised if we go, you know, right back to 26K. Uh, this could happen, right? This is a reality of the technical setup that we're seeing here, okay? In a matter of minutes here, this crash happened. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, now if we look at the 30-day period, okay, we can see that the last month performance, let me go ahead and refresh this. We are still up on BTC and ETH, uh, but of course, the seven days now is looking much, much more ugly. Let's take a look at the fear and greed index, guys. We've been pretty high on the greed and now we're falling back down. You know, honestly, there is still a chance that we bounce here. Uh, but I think that this is just going to cause too much panic and fear, uh, which is usually the case with these type of, uh, you know, hit pieces, rumors and crypto, uh, especially when there's a lot of longs open on high leverage. It creates an absolute uh, waterfall of liquidations. OK, and this is, of course, like I said, guys, a research piece. Uh, based on uh, this person here, Marcus Thielen, head of research at Matrixport. But if we do get the full-blown news of ETF denial, guys, uh, you know, some people want to say, oh, well, the drop is priced in. I don't think so, guys. If we get confirmation that all spot Bitcoin ETFs are rejected, it's going to send further panic in the crypto market. Now, we already have a lot of that, which is causing these prices to fall lower, guys. We're also going to take a look at Ethereum. There's been news about down the line an Ethereum ETF. I think that will one day come about. But right now, Ethereum is getting wrecked on this move okay very very ugly pullback from ethereum it peaked out right there at the resistance and uh, you know we fell actually at the peak here 13 percent, and we're still below our main support of 2215 dollars guys it's looking like we're going to sink further uh you know for ethereum here where do we have support well around 2070 
Um, but you know, will we re-enter our previous consolidation, right? Between 2000 and 1,700, that's what we need to look out for, right? How much are the bigger coins like Bitcoin and ETH going to pull back here? That also depends on the further news that's going to come out in the days to come. And I will be covering it, of course. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any content. I highly also recommend that you go follow me on Twitter. I post active news updates like I did today here. So go check me out on Twitter, guys. Go follow me there. Um, and as far as other coins in the crypto market, altcoins, uh, we can go ahead and uh, move over to the worst performers in the last 24 hours. A lot of meme coins, guys. Bonk, Terra Luna Classic, these things will get wrecked. There's no question about that. Uh, you know, if Bitcoin and ETH are getting wrecked, uh, you can only imagine what's going to happen to altcoins. And in fact, uh, a lot of the coins that have uh, performed very well, for example, XRP, Solana, Avalanche, these are getting hit really hard, guys, really hard. These are down uh, over 10% in the last 24 hours alone. And I don't think, unfortunately, that those uh, altcoins, some of the bigger to mid-size altcoins, are going to end the drop here. You can see an absolute bloodbath across the board. File card, file coin getting destroyed. Uh, injective getting destroyed. A lot of those altcoins that saw very big moves here are getting absolutely decimated, guys. And, uh, you know, that's just a logical progression of, uh, you know, the smaller coins, less liquidity, they're going to get wrecked more. Uh, Bitcoin ETH also getting wrecked, even though they're bigger coins. We are down, uh, you know, about 7% on both of these. Uh, and like I said, Bitcoin and ETH do have some support here. Will it be enough to cause a bounce at these levels? It depends on how the market is going to digest this news, guys. Long term, I have no concerns. Uh, I think an ETF is coming for both of those. This is just a timing thing. And, uh, you know, how uh, volatile the crypto market is. So uh, long term, you know, this is a nice little um, discount, right, on the uh, the price. However, you need to keep in mind here, we could fall lower, guys. Depending on how bad this news is, uh, and if we get confirmation of the ETNF denial, uh, I am more worried about us seeing something like this, right? A full, you know, 30, 40% drop in a matter of a day or two, okay? It's happened before in crypto. This type of drop usually happens once or twice a year. Uh, so this is a real possibility. I'm not trying to spread FUD. I'm not saying this is even likely to happen, but this is a real possibility if we do get the full-blown denial of the ETFs, guys. Uh, like I said, Ethereum not being able to recover support, and this was just the first wick down. I'm expecting at least another one down to 2K flat. Uh, for Bitcoin over here, uh, we can see that um, we're pulling back uh, down to 42K. Uh, the exact percentage drop here was, uh, you know, 7%. So, um, you know, I'm expecting uh, that drop to be amplified for uh, our altcoins here, okay? Um, you know, if Bitcoin either are going to drop 7%, uh, you know, you're seeing these altcoins dropping 10, 11, 12, 13, 14%, right? That's just what's going to happen. They're going to drop about 30 to 50% more uh, than Bitcoin or Ethereum in terms of that price volatility, right? Uh, that's just the na nature of the crypto market. Of course, we're taking advantage of that by being short on Solana here, uh, which you can join as well uh, on Fairdesk, the best crypto exchange out there. Link in the description below. And of course, guys, don't be left empty handed in this crypto market. You need to have full professional coverage with the right trader. Telegram elite VIP group, guys, take advantage, subscribe today, and you'll be with us in the group uh, where you get live coverage, live trades, take profit, stop loss, everything shared with you. OK, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. I'll be here to cover any new updates down the line.